I think I want to cut my hair. I have just been thinking lately for like a week now that I really want to change up my hair because just this past couple months, all I do is just wear my hair up in a ponytail because I'm just like not happy with my hair. It's just very flat and boring. So instead of going to a hairdresser, I feel like I should cut my own hair. I don't even know how to curl my hair, let alone do anything with my hair. But for some reason, I feel like I could probably do it. And I guess the first step is, um, getting the right supplies. So I am alone for the week and I feel like my best decisions are typically not when I'm alone because then I have no one to consult with and someone to tell me, hey, probably not a great idea. It's just me, it's just Benson. And he doesn't have an opinion. So let's get it wet. Well, actually, I probably should shower. I haven't showered in a while. Oh, I'm so nervous. Okay, I'm feeling very nervous. So I think the last time I cut my hair, I was two and I guess I just found a pair of scissors and I just took a chunk and chopped it all off. Since then, I have not really touched my hair to cut it. I've always gotten cut somewhere else. But for some reason, I think this is gonna be a great idea because I watched one YouTube tutorial and now I feel like I'm a hairstylist. I'm gonna try the butterfly cut at home. That's what the video is called. <laughs> so it's supposed to be easier. It looks easy where you just put your hair in two ponytails and then you trim. And I'm just gonna cut a little bit at a time because there's no going back with this. So we're just gonna go slow and steady because those people usually win the race, right? This is more difficult than I thought it would be. I can't see anything. Brush it all to the front. I Hopefully that's even, I don't know. Let's just put it into a ponytail and then I can fix it if I need to fix it. Okay, we did it. And then for the rest of the hair, I'm just supposed to put it into a ponytail. Can I just like flip it over? I feel like that'd be easier. Like this, and then we comb. Originally, I was just gonna put my hair into two like side ponytails and trim it that way. And for some reason, I thought this would be less risky, but now that I'm like doing this, I feel like this is a lot more risky. Like what if I just trim it and then I have a piece of hair that's like that, long on the top of my head. So in Brad Mondo's tutorial, he legit just cut off like half of this. I feel like my hair is a little bit longer than the mannequin he's cutting. I, yeah, I just, I'm not gonna go halfway. I think we're gonna start with maybe like four inches. I even have a ruler. I'm gonna cut it here. Not sure if it's enough, not sure, yeah, okay. that hurt my soul. Now for the back piece. I'm gonna use my ruler again because um, I really just don't wanna mess this up and we're gonna do about the same. So am I gonna regret this? Probably. Can't tell, I can't tell yet. The front is where I'm nervous about. Okay. Okay, well, good thing is, it, you know, it's not looking bad. I don't, I don't know that it looks any different yet. I just, maybe I didn't cut off enough because you can see it's a lot shorter in the front here. It needs to be styled and like blow dried and stuff, but I kind of feel like cutting off more. I don't know if I'm gonna go and grab this or grab this. Let's do a couple more inches, how about that? Oh yeah, I did cut my hair. Okay, we're gonna start with the back. I'm thinking maybe like two more inches. I don't wanna go crazy and cut off like, you know, a decent amount more because, you know, I feel like just a little bit more would be better. I just cut off like two more inches. Okay, in the front. Okay, 
Just do it. I don't know. I think it looks good. I don't know. Does it look good? I think this is going to be quite nice, to be honest. I really do think so. I got some nice framing in my face. They're not too short, because that's what I was worried about. I was like, if I cut this part too short, then they're going to dry, and then they're going to be like up here. So. It's like just past my chin and I can always, you know, redo this all over again after I style it or I can just kind of trim them a bit shorter if I like. But yeah, I am not emotionally prepared to destroy my hair today. I feel like that would break me. So we're just gonna play it cool. I already feel like this is like, it's gonna look amazing. Uh, it just... Yeah, I don't have any words right now. I feel like this was the right choice. I feel like there's so much more definition. It just doesn't look as flat, my hair. I, you know, I'm feeling pretty good about it so far, but I feel like I should try to maybe just touch it up a little bit, make sure this curves nicely down so it frames my face and possibly, I don't know, maybe I don't want to to actually trim the ends a little bit. I didn't watch a tutorial on that one. So I'm just gonna try to smooth in these out so it's more, I don't know, smooth. That's a good word. Worst case, if I hate it, I'm just gonna chop it into a bob. We're just gonna get rid of all of this. So as long as I don't cut it shorter than like a bob, we should be golden. That's smooth, right? JK, I think I wanna do it one more time. Like one more inch because I feel like I did cut a little bit more off the back. You can't see me. I feel like I cut a little bit more off the back than the front. So let's just trim it one more time. Third time's the charm. Okay, okay. One inch. Last time, okay? I'm not doing this again, and I hope. Don't ruin it. Please don't ruin it. Please not be ruined. <laughs> Still long. It's not too short. Okay, we're good. I'm not cutting anymore. That was, that was, yeah. That was already enough stress for the day, so. I did it. I did it. Next step. Now we just need to style it. So I'm gonna try to do a blowout for it and then I'll show you guys what it finally looks like. Do you guys wanna see how much hair I cut off? That's a lot of hair. That's a lot of hair. Before I blow dry, I'm just gonna put some heat spray in so we don't damage my newly cut hair. Oh, there we go. Oh, so good. Okay, that's enough. You probably could have guessed this, but I have no idea what I'm doing for this 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 blowout. <laughs> I got this brush and I got a blow dryer, so let's. How do I even hold it? I'm getting the hang of it. Okay. Ready to see it? Are you guys ready to see my hair? <laughs> I did it! And it actually doesn't look that bad. 
I'm actually really surprised about that because I was going into this mentally preparing to probably have a breakdown and also try to find a salon that would be able to fix my hair after. But luckily, neither of those happened. It actually turned out somewhat decent. I'm not gonna say the way I styled my hair is that great. This was my first time doing a blowout with a hair dryer. Just a blowout. And it did take me two hours, so. <laughs> I'm definitely gonna have to get a little bit speedier on that if I'm gonna want to do this hairstyle or just style it weekly. Cause I don't have two hours of my day to actually do this. It's like below average too. Anyways, I am very happy with myself. I'm very impressed with myself. I get a pat on the back on both sides cause I did it. I made my hair better and not worse. And that was really the goal today was to make my hair better and not worse. And I achieved it. Okay. Do I have popcorn on my face? I was just eating kettle corn. Okay, that's it. I'm probably gonna go eat more, so I hope you all have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you guys whenever. My next video, maybe. Okay. Bye! Bye! It actually does look really good. Woohoo! I am happy with myself.